so first things first as you can see here if we were to go into settings and then go to where it says general and go to about and go to the software version you can see the software version that we have here it's 20b50 50f so this build number has an f at the end and coming from beta 1 it's unfortunate because this takes one step in the negative direction going to show that ios 16.1 is at this time still highly unstable now when it comes to the new features and changes that this update has to offer the first one as you can see is that well the battery percentage is actually updating in real time dynamically so you can enable this even if you have an iphone 11 iphone x iphone 13 or iphone 12 mini by just going into your settings and then go to where it says battery right there and you'll be able to see where it says battery percentage if you turn it off it will look like that and if you turn it on you'll be able to see the battery percentage even for those iphone series that were initially left out when ios 16 came out that's something that's good also another thing that's great if you were to go into like any website or any message and copy the text that there was an issue before where if you would go and try to paste like the text in another application or software for example in notes then it would always prompt you to try and allow it to paste but you can see that this time it just pastes automatically without giving you the prompt that was sort of interceptive most of the time so that has been resolved with this issue and also something that has been updated is the dynamic lock screen for charging so whenever you connect your iphone to the charger you can see that you know it will tell you that it's charged to about you know whatever percentage it is which is what we used to have on ios 16. if you use the find my application so we just search for it find my when you open it up for the first time you can see that there's a new splash screen that will tell you what's new when it comes to find my and also when it comes to the wallet app like i mentioned before we now have the ability to remove the wallet app not just from the home screen but to delete the wallet app those are the new features and changes that are here when it comes to ios 16.1 in case you're wondering when the second beta is going to be coming out i would say that the second beta is coming out on the week of the 26 to the 29 since we are on a weekly release cycle and then after beta 4 or 5 then expect the rc and then official release now that's how this update came in for me on my iphone 14 pro if you like this video do leave a like and subscribe and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace